Alrighty. It's been quite the day. At some point this morning, my son said, they have a house picked out. They need, they need money for the, money for the, whatever. So I need $20,000. So he's asking me and my daughter. My my daughter didn't answer all at all today. So I don't know where she is, but she wasn't answering. So I went, okay, um, you know, I'm not in a good situation. I mean, I've just come, I'm in a good situation. I'm just relaxing, starting to relax. I'm almost paid everything off. I'm gulp. I thought I was going to be able to breathe finally and, and feel that I was not, you know, owing, owing, owing. And he says, well, well, it's only, only this much. And you know, Mimi's parent, Mimi's family has helped so much. And okay. Okay. I said, let, let me ask. This is my morning in the morning on at the breakfast table. Let me ask Kimberly. You know? And I opened my three envelopes that I had from Kimberly, which I'd been avoiding opening. Because, you know, what does it matter if I open the bank's envelopes? It doesn't change anything. So I looked at that. This is after my son had asked for the money. And I realized, oh my God, my, my money has, is disappearing. You know, instead of growing, it's disappearing. So this is sort of what I was worried about, but if I don't see it, I don't worry about it. And so you know, here my son's asking for money and my money has gone down. So I said, let me, let me ask Kimberly and see what she says. So she got back to me as I knew she would that, you know, we're working on building your finances back up, not depleting them more. And I went, yeah, Kimberly, I know. I would really just like to say no, but I thought I'd ask you first. So anyway, I said something back to um, my son. We went back and forth a bit more. And then he said, you know, you could, you could just... The thing is, we can't. We don't have much equity, but you have lots, so maybe you could take out a um, line of credit. Would be totally our responsibility. You would have nothing to do with it except for that it's in your name. Okay, that works. I sent that past Kimberly again. And she eventually got back to me saying, yeah, Will, you could take out that loan. As long as you could cover the, the cost of it. I don't know. I don't know. It's my son who will be covering it, so no worries. But then he got back. He says, no problem. Kim, I'm oh, sorry. Mimi got the line of credit and it's way more than they expected. And so everything turned out no problem, no need for anything from me. So I got back to Kimberly, said, it's all good, false alarm. <laughs> and uh, she said, yeah, great. If you need anything, let me know. I'm glad things worked out. Oh my goodness. So it's out Embro way. Down the 401, towards Woodstock. I used to, I went to school with someone who came from Embro. I was actually, I know it, I've been there. I was at their house. No much of the family. 
So, but that was dress that I did not need. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, uh, her family has helped so much. Now they want my help. A <laughs> way to put guilt on your mom. Anyway, I'm shopping. I don't know if tomorrow's going to be a snow day or not. I think not, but I'm hoping. But it seems like not. Oh. My boots came today. I've worn them around the house. They're large and heavy. And uh, I think they're okay. They, I don't know how to try them out on ice when there's no ice, so... But that's what they're for. They're ice boots. <laughs> My ice boots. My ice boots are here. Exciting. 